You're playing a game and having a good time until suddenly it happens. You stumble upon an extremely hard level. You spend the next hour dying over and over again, which is very frustrating. Now, do you rise to the occasion or simply give up? Failing is not an option, soldier. You start by improving your skills and finally manage to beat that level. Congratulations! Now, here are 10 more extremely difficult levels in recent games. Neo is often described as Dark Souls with Ancient Samurai. This game is full of challenging levels and insanely difficult bosses. The Ocean's Roar Again stage almost made us give up on the game entirely. This level is filled with water and you die as soon as you touch it. What makes matters worse is the fact that you need to fight on tiny platforms. It makes combat very difficult and you really need to mind your step. We died so many times on this level, but we did manage to beat it eventually. The hunt is on. The Kosselmark Tower dungeon in Final Fantasy XV is completely optional, as if the developers knew that most gamers wouldn't be able to finish the story if they included this level. You will need to fight many high-ranked enemies, so you better come prepared. Don't even think about going inside this dungeon before you reach level 65. Even then, you'll need to stock up on health items and prepare for a very long challenge. To make things even worse, you need to fight a very tough final boss at the end. However, we do love the design of this level, so it's definitely worth checking out. A great grab and then some. Here goes. Cuphead is a game that's built around challenging boss fights. Every boss was a test of our patience as we slowly figured out his patterns while dying over and over again. However, Junkyard Jive is arguably the hardest level in the game. You need to take on Dr. Carl Robot, which is a complete nightmare. His first two phases are extremely unpleasant and require a lot of skill. However, it's his third phase that makes him so frustrating. He unleashes a bullet hell that you wouldn't wish upon your worst enemy. We almost gave up on the entire game because of this guy. <laughs> Trials Fusion is all about trying a level over and over again. You really need to study the layout of a level and can't afford to make one single mistake. Luckily, the levels are short, so most can be completed if you keep trying. However, the same cannot be said for Ninja Level 6. This is, without a doubt, the hardest level in the game. The obstacles are just ridiculous, as you need to land on incredibly tiny platforms. We have a lot of respect for gamers who completed this level without breaking their controller in half. Super Meat Boy has to be one of the most difficult platform games ever created. You're simply dying over and over again until you finally beat a level without making a single mistake. There are many difficult levels in the game, but nothing is more frustrating than the Kid Warp Zone. These infamous levels will take you a whopping two hours to complete. 
It will require all of your concentration and skill to survive this spiky version of hell. Can you believe that some gamers are able to do a deathless run on the Kid Warp Zone? Dark Souls is full of frustrating levels, but nothing comes close to the Tomb of the Giants. This level has you running around a pitch black tomb with invisible pitfalls everywhere. Every time you fall to your death, you lose about 20 minutes of progress. It's a true trial and error level where you need to figure out the path and avoid enemies. It was a major roadblock for us and we almost gave up. Luckily, we eventually managed to overcome this nightmare. Nothing is more terrifying than not knowing when you might fall and have to start over. We still get nervous ticks when the Mile High Club level gets mentioned. This bonus mission from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was made for the true hardcore gamer. You have 60 seconds to clear two floors of an aeroplane packed to the brim with enemies. You need to work your way up to a VOP who is being held hostage. Especially on the hardest difficulty, this mission becomes near impossible. Of course, you get an achievement for beating it. So many gamers just keep restarting over and over again until they either won or went completely crazy. The Bandicoot N Sane Trilogy brought back some of our fondest PlayStation memories. However, it also brought back some of our worst nightmares. The high road level from the first Crash Bandicoot was a very unwelcome blast from the past. You have to cross a bridge filled with obstacles and even the slightest mistake will result in instant death. Your timing has to be perfect and you can't rush things as you slowly move forward. The level borders on the verge of being unfair and we don't blame gamers who simply put the controller down at this point. Hotline Miami 2 is a very difficult game where you need to play perfectly all the time. One mistake often means instant death. This becomes very annoying when lots of enemies are spraying bullets around. The takeover level is the hardest one in the game. There are so many enemies coming out of nowhere. You really need to remember all their locations if you want to stand a chance. We died so many times trying to beat this level on the hardest difficulty. The conclusion is pretty great, so it's definitely worth it to beat this level at least once. Shovel Knight is a great game that brings back memories of the Super Nintendo. Games were a lot harder back then and the same has to be said about this indie game. There are many difficult levels in the game, but the flying machine has to be the hardest one. This level is full of wind machines that will blast you into spikes if you don't watch out. The platforming is already pretty challenging and the different wind directions only make it worse. This brutal level ends with one of the toughest boss battles in the game. Yes, 
just when you thought it was finally over, they throw this difficult boss at you. Did you beat any of these challenging levels? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.